Welcome to this introduction video of Folder Viewer. Folder Viewer has been completely rewritten from ground up. When you open Folder Viewer, you will see two panels, a left one and a right one. Each panel can contain different functionality. For instance, you can add another Explorer. By clicking the Explorer button, a new one will open and you can set the new folder to another drive and immediately the drives and folders will be displayed. You can do the same in the other panel. Activate first the right panel, click on Explorer and another Explorer panel will be opened. You can add, for instance, a search panel. Click on Search. Activate first the left panel, click on Search and immediately the search panel will be opened. Um, we will search the folder viewer uh, folder for files like Pascal source files and Pascal form files. Click on find and you will see 60 files in total. You can add a condensed viewing mode by adding a pivot table. Click on data mining and you immediately will see the different file types, the maximum file, the minimum file size and the, the amount of files. Um, the pivot table can be printed of course, like so. Let's close it again, or it can be exported to be used in Excel or in other programs for your convenience. You can do many different, uh, use many different properties and filters. For instance, you can open by the filters by clicking on the filter button. Uh, for instance, when you want to have some condensed information about your pictures, you can use the ISO, the focal length, and make a beautiful pivot table about your pictures in a very convenient way. And again, you can print and export it to export it further. Let's close it again. Another neat feature, still available on the internet, is the Google Desktop Search Engine. When you've downloaded the Google Desktop Search to your uh, computer, your local computer, and you open Folder Viewer, Folder Viewer will automatically uh, recognize that you have installed uh, Google Desktop Search on your computer and will embed it and make it available from within Folder Viewer. Now, let's open it. Uh, clear for the thick, for the Cleared first, just for the, the example. Uh, select the file type, select a word, for instance, a report builder. So now uh, folder will, will search using Google Desktop Search to find files, doc files, containing the word report builder. Click on find and nearly instantaneously you will see the results. Just have a, a, a check, open the, this document, for instance, by double clicking and you see, indeed, it contains the word report builder. Um, the nice feature that uh, because Folder Viewer uses the context menu of the files, even there are the search results of Google Desktop Search, you can have um, uh, yeah, use the context menu, which is not available when you use Google Desktop in your browser, of course. Let's close it. Go back to certain files. We go to the folder test photos. We select a couple of files, just for the example, and we'll go into the rename function. Rename function is a very advanced uh, tool. You can rename files and use different properties. For instance, when you use a country, or city, or street, or the address of the, where the picture was taken, you can rename, in this case, to the file to the Netherlands in the state Almere, and to the address, the street name, where the picture was taken. When you click rename, the files will be renamed in a very way, quick way. Close it again, you scroll down because it's on the alphabetical order, and you see, hey, there are the pictures renamed according to their um, localization where the picture was taken. In this case, the Netherlands, Almere, and the street name. A very neat and handy tool, and we go into many more details uh, in a special introduction video of the rename functionality. Uh, another thing is we can copy files in a very advanced way. You delete first the existing folders, um, select a couple of pictures, and then we use the advanced copy functionality to copy files to destination folders based on the properties. Well, let's use the picture properties, use the geo geotext, and we copy the selected pictures using, for instance, the city and the street name. All the pictures were apparently taken in Almere. It's the, the city where Radiosoft is located. Double click. And here you see the street names. And we select one, 
and we see the pictures, we are taken in Almere in the Havenhoft 7. Another nice feature of Folder Viewer is that it makes use of libraries. We will show you how to use the document library. Click on the document library, click on the button to open the library, and you will see that there are already 41 uh, files in the library. When you open the tree nodes, you will see that there are already different tree nodes in the tree. Every tree node represents a query. For instance, when you click on a diction, all the files with the tag addiction will be listed. As you will notice here, we have all the files and all the files listed here have the tag addiction. In the background, this query will be executed. Select from documents where tags is like addiction. You don't need any have any knowledge of SQL because the queries are generated for you. Of course, when you have knowledge about SQL, you can make very advanced queries yourself, of course. When you click on questionnaires, this query will be selected. And when we go back to 12 step, this query will be selected. So that's a very neat feature to have a, a, a meta view of all the files on your hard drive. And because you can have very elaborate and complex uh, filters and queries, you can select uh, files on many different ways, which is of course not possible if the files are located on your hard drive in the rigid structure of the file system. Now we go in an extra uh, introduction video more into the details, but you can see how advanced the libraries are. We have the same uh, thing for your pictures, for your music, for your videos. So there are four types of libraries. Uh, note that for the document and the picture library, there can be many different libraries. For the music and video, there is only one library because of the uh, kind of files used. A lot of the functionality uh, previously embedded in Winniscon, uh, another program of Matisoft, uh, we added some ad additional functionality like the network tools and the system tools to Folder Viewer. The network tools are the IP monitor, the IP info, DNS, who is servers, MX records, queries, location info, and which will I show you uh, in this video, the terminal client. You can have many terminal clients and connect to remote computers. You can set uh, the clipboard, the printers, and the drives, and the ports. And in this way, you will have a connection with a remote computer and uh, using the other panel to uh, copy or paste uh, files directly from the remote computer to your local system without using an FTP server. It's very neat and it, uh, yeah, it makes it easy to have many different uh, remote clients open at the same time. Uh, another nice feature are the system tools. A lot of the tools are embedded in Folder Viewer. Uh, we will show a couple like the certificates, uh, computer management, uh, services, the task planner, for instance, we just open one and you, you will see the task planner, um, the window application, of course, but you open it directly from within Folder Viewer. There are a lot of panel controls directly available, uh, like the network adapters, for instance, you can open it with one click. It's easier, uh, I think, for the average user to um, ex have access to the control panels from within Folder Viewer. Uh, you can open the PowerShell uh, directly from uh, within the Folder Viewer, and it's sometimes on the taskbar. You will get it in front of you, and you have your complete uh, PowerShell as an administrator at your service. Um, you can have the MS Info, with a lot of information about your system and services, and um, and that's also a neat feature. You can have an, uh, a reliability check and. We have an overview of all the different um, complex problems on your system, like we had some with Folder Viewer during development. Um, you can have your registry opened. You can run a program from um, Folder Viewer, like for instance this one. Um, you can have the task manager with one click and have a lot of details about your tasks currently running. You can add and access your user accounts. Uh, you can set your different uh, user accounts um, settings. Have access to your usernames and passwords. And of course, back up your passwords. And that's not a um, thing you have to forget, I think. So we embedded it in Folder Viewer. 
On top of it, uh, on top of the screen, there are shortcuts to many of the uh, functionalities, like uh, yeah, expanding the left panel, or you can 50 or 50 again, expanding the right panel. You can 50 or 50 again. You can swap the panels left and right. You can make them horizontally or vertically. You can hide the drive maps. You can um, yeah, remove hardware safely, and you can have some information about the folder viewer. Okay. Well, that wraps it up, this current introduction to the new, completely rewritten Folder Viewer 5.0.